morning, guys. Uh, got a little project going out here. Uh, Heidi and I went and fed up. G went with Kim to pick up some things that Kim needed in town. And she says, I'll stay in. And I'm working on this fence, just starting. She says, I'll stay and help you. I said, no, you should take coat of bear and go. I could probably get more done by myself. <laughs> no, when I'm working with someone, that's why I don't ask a lot of help. When you got somebody helping you, not so much G, but and these other guys, I end up feeling like I'm slowing them down because I like to, you know, work a little bit. And if I don't, my knees hurt or something, I just I take a break. You know what I'm saying? I just sit down and take a break. I can pace myself. That's why I like to do projects, even though they're big projects, most of the time by myself. I tell you right now, hey, look at me. Ginger, I'm talking to you, little kid. Yes, that's right, you. No, I didn't just call you over here. I just want to tell you something. I'm fixing to work on this lumber, and you ain't going to set up here. I didn't keep Gigi here. I ain't going to keep... No, no. The old kissing stuff ain't going to work on me. It ain't going to work. We fed up. Uh, if, if you think about it, watch next Sunday's video, guys, uh, of our dinner uh, but after dinner cuz comes by and he and i go to the go to the back like we always do and sit back there and we talk about old times and stuff and family and stuff and you know all this kind of stuff let me get out of the sun y'all probably can't even see what's going on here and uh while we're down there here comes duke and the goat family I didn't call you to follow me in here. I want to talk to these folks. Nor are you. I, I'm serious. You know, Tina should have taught these little guys more about rules to follow. Now, I guess my work is cut out for me because I ain't going to deal with this kind of stuff. I don't tolerate it. And I'm trying to video... Uh... I don't even know where I was at. Oh, yeah. They come down there and they just glare at Cuss. Just glare at him. You know, now see Johnny. If Johnny had been there, Johnny gets up on the table and looks down at Cuss. They're picking on him. It, they just, it's just an aggravation type thing. Duke even come up and put his head against his cuz's foot and just shoved, shoved, and shoved. Couldn't relax. And then here comes Miracle. Button him. <laughs> he said... I'm just going to go home. I can't take all this kind of stuff. I laughed. We had the best time down there. And everybody down there, Ivan comes up behind him messing with his head. We had a great time. But the funny thing was, how every one of these animals come up there, even little old cuddles come up and just stare at him. Like, what are you doing down here in our Papa's chair? <laughs> anyway, y'all get a chance to watch that. It's really funny. I'm going to show you what I'm doing around here real quick, and then I'm going to start on this, start on this fence. Because uh, we're getting them off this patio. They are the, they are the messiest little guys you ever seen in your life. They mess up everything. So let's walk right now, see. Uh, I've just got started. I dug a, I dug a post hole, and we're going to come across right here, but we decided not because it's going to be awkward with that box of plumbing there. So we're going to start right here in this corner. And we're going to come straight across to the house right here. Just a straight walk. And there will be a gate, a three-foot gate, or, yeah, a gate right here in the center. And uh, around here, now they've messed it up already. I'll fix it up better. It's going to be where their house is. See, they've got a, there's a roof on this deck. It doesn't leak under here. It stays dry. And uh, so it's never going to leak. But I may go ahead and build them a regular little house in here eventually. But not right now. I ain't got time. And I'll keep the tarp on it. but And that blanket on there to keep just wind blowing. And at night, just, they, they've messed it up. I had it all straightened out. And I'll straighten it out again later. Uh, they'll go in here at night. And I'll close their door, you know. And they'll be safe. They'll be dry. They'll be warm. And tomorrow morning, when I come out, I'll give them their bottles and let them, well, let them out and give them their bottles. When the little kids come to play, they'll have these two guys to play with. And I guarantee you, they'll play with them. These guys will make them. They'll make them play. <laughs> they ain't got no choice. 
and they're gonna love it. They will love it. Little Carter and Cash and Coda Bear and Carly. They will love playing with these little guys. So anyway, that's my plan, and that's what I got going right now. So I'm gonna go set this post here and come straight across over here and set a post along this wall and get busy. I'll show you as I go, okay? Uh, Hattie, Hattie had a pretty good night. Uh, I don't think she coughed any during the night. Thank you for the prayers. Uh, she, she had a pretty good night. And uh, you stay over there. You stay in that chair. I'm sitting in this chair. I don't need no ghosts over here. Uh, we got up at five this morning. Took Lex back to school, and uh, we're going to get him again this weekend because Lester traded weekends with Maria because. The following week, their school starts their their Christmas break, and it would be our weekend when that school break. That would kind of kick in two days out of her time with him. So he swap weekends. So he will get him, and then we won't see him again until I think the 28th of December. Uh, be a couple of weeks there without him, you know, at all. But uh, we'll miss him. But that's. We get split it. Yeah. Oh Lord, I see Carter coming. I, I can't. I, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with her, Carter and her mama. <laughs> you ever try to eat peanuts with little goats? It ain't fun. <laughs> now I've sent these. These things are awesome. Thank you. I'll take a break. I have a peanut or two. Well, probably more than two. They have found out. They can jump up on my grill here and go through that wire. So when I go outside, it don't matter. They come outside too. So, I'm gonna take a break. We'll work some more. I got a post set here, I'll level it up. It's in the ground about two foot. And same way with this one over here. And I've got, 14, it's 14 foot across here. And I measure my boards exact and I cut them. And I have one across along the ground and one at the top. And that will stabilize that. And I put two in the middle where the gate's gonna go. And I'll level it all up and cut the, whatever I gotta cut off the tops. I got some little L-shaped clips. You remember those I got from Jake? That I'll attach it to that wall, a couple of different places. It'll stabilize that a little bit more. I don't know. That's, that's the kind of help I get. And it'll stabilize it more. And also, I'll attach this wall over here, a little barn. And then I'll put those two boards across, level them up like I want them. The ground is higher over here, and it drops down slope here. I may dig a little trench so I can set that board a little bit lower so it won't be as... I'm not going to be able to make it level and, and cover this trench up. And I can't cover this trench up. This is where the water comes off the eaves. It's got rock all in there. I'm not even going to try to move that out. And that rock keeps it from eroding. No, I don't have no gutters on the back. <laughs> Probably not going to put no gutters back here. But anyway, uh, it'll, it'll look good to get through it. So. I'm gonna go get my two boards measured and then cut and attach them and level my post up and, and get all that All set. right, guys, uh, I'm fixing to go in. Lester come by and brought us, some, meet some gizzards and brought his mom some livers. I don't like chicken livers. I eat one by mistake. Yuck. <laughs> I 
I like beef liver and stuff, but not chicken liver. Anyway, that's all level. I'll come in here now when I get through eating, having lunch. Heidi wants, a, Heidi wants a gizzard with me. She says, I'm ready for a gizzard. She loves gizzards too. So we'll share them. Uh, I'm going to put a three-foot opening right here in the center. Uh, probably right about where that level's laying. And uh, a three-foot gate. And then I'm going to put some metal rails coming over to it to attach my picket so it would be good and sturdy. But I'll set these posts next and get them all screwed in top and bottom, leveled up, three foot apart. Then I'll cut the boards for the center, the center board to screw the pickets to. And I'd probably get the pickets up today. I probably won't get to that gate. So one more day of dealing with these little guys here on the patio until tomorrow I'll build a gate and hang it. So let's go eat some chicken. Chicken gizzards. They said, Dad, what do you do when you want to splurge a little bit, get, you know, leave your diet just temporary? Well, son, I leave my diet too often. <laughs> but uh, I said, this is maybe a hamburger or two. <laughs> I, you know, if I go to McDonald's, I like those old home style burgers, but they're not real big. But, oh, please, please, guys, come, I, I can't do this every time I sit down. I can't sit down out here without the, all this stuff. It's just, it's just, you sit down and they're all up on top of you. And I don't tolerate this kind of behavior with, with a goat. I just, I don't, I don't tolerate it. Y'all, y'all just don't know your papa yet. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, y'all learn papa don't tolerate little goats doing stuff like this. Okay. I don't, I don't do it. I just ain't going to do it. You like to stick your face to camera. Heidi, you ready to go eat some gizzards? I give Heidi a gizzard while I go, and she parked up. <laughs> Woo, boy, she loves gizzards. I love you. I love you. All right, we're going to go in, and Heidi and I are going to have some gizzards. And then we're going to come back out a little bit, and we're going to... Uh, work on that i appreciate those that, that lunch lester brought I, it was a surprise he drove up and blowed his horn got out and got this bag and <laughs> so what what would you do dad if you was going to splurge off your diet and, and i'm thinking what's he got that bag i had no idea i didn't know it was food uh i said i don't know but wait why he said if you was going to go off your diet you know a day and want to splurge what would you eat and i said well right. hamburger chicken or something like that i got you gizzard i said oh boy that's it that's it and uh, stop. So, we're gonna go in and splurge. Heidi wants to splurge too. Uh, she's ready for to splurge. Kippy, that kippy. Uh, and you say in your prayers, pray for Ronnie and his family. Ronnie's brother, I think, had a stroke this morning. Ronnie's called me all upset and wanting prayers. And, uh, he's such a good guy. Y'all met Ronnie. And uh, his brother's uh, been in a, a nursing home, and his brother, brother's wife has been in the hospital. She had surgery. And then they called Ronnie just a little bit ago and, and said had a stroke. Moved him to the hospital, so he's on his way to the hospital now. They're twins, and they're very, very close. You know, twins like that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the bike, guys. Catch you guys later, right, folks. Uh, I've come out from lunch. And I've set the two posts where the gate's gonna go. I've got the rails up. The only thing I gotta do now is cut the top of that post off over there. I'll use my chainsaw to do that. I can do that at the last when I get through. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put the pickets. There's a picket propped up, but I got a load of pickets in my back of my truck. Uh, I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to take Heidi for a ride and let the goats out for a while. And tomorrow we'll do pickets. And then the, maybe <coughs> if I get through in time, I'll do the gate tomorrow.
Hopefully I can do all both of them. Pick it center gate. Pick it shouldn't take long. From that post over there, this post over here, and build a gate for right there. All right, shouldn't take long. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy building a fence with people like this. Every time I lay a board down, they want to get up on it, jump, run up and down it. I have to move them to cut a board. I have to move them to screw a board to the post. And I got to push them out of my way. <clears throat> They're nuisances. They're nuisances. I can't tolerate this kind of behavior. Right now, we'll go back there where it's nice and calm and peaceful with Ivan and Miracle and my babies and Heidi. We ain't got to tolerate this stuff. Heidi loves gizzards. I gave her some gizzards. She loved gizzards. That might be the treat I start buying her, but they can't be salted. <laughs> I may just buy some gizzards and start frying them for her, just in plain grease. She loves them. Uh, I had to share them with her. She stood there. Ears is perked all up and her eyes are big. <laughs> I'm glad he brought two packages. Uh, yeah, Lester surprised me. Walked up with that bag of food. I didn't really realize it's food. He just walked up with a bag and started talking about what I do to when I want to get off my diet for a day. And I said, well, I get a hamburger or something or chicken. I got you gizzards. Woo, boy. My favorite. All right. We're going to go. Y'all are not going. These two are not going. No, you're not going. Forget it. Uh, yeah, we've had a good day. It's been a, my knees are telling me it's time, Papa, to get on that mule, you and Heidi, Kip and Woody, and go for a ride. And you guys are not going. I'm going to move my grill away from that fence because they get up on that grill and, and go through that fence. I think that's how they're doing it. And we'll move them. Maybe that'll stop some of that escaping. All right. Duke wants to know where's Cuz. I ain't through with him. <laughs> I'm not through with Cuz. <laughs> oh, they picked on Cuz yesterday. Something unreal. Poor Cuz. He probably never come back. Hey, you know, have you ever been somewhere and somebody just stare at you? Or a group of people stare at you? And you think, well, my hair not combed? Or my shirt, you know, inside out? Or my makeup bad? Or what? You know, because they just stare. Well, that's the way these guys did cuss. Every one of them. Plus, he wanted to fight cuss. He wanted to fight him. Yeah, cuss had that look, Papa. He had that look. He needed a good spanking. <laughs> and I can do it. Look at me. Look at me right now. This is what I'll do to him next time I see him. <laughs> Cousin see this. He won't ever come back, Duke. Duke, he won't ever come back, baby. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Right? How do you got a little smile about it herself? She said, Bump off. I've had gizzards, and I'm feeling pretty good right this minute. I'm feeling so pretty good right now. I love you, baby. I love you. Me and her talk at night. She lays there and I'll moan. She, or I'll turn over and hit my knee on something. I'll moan and she'll just kind of look at me like, what's wrong with you, Papa? I've got, I got issues also. I know you do, baby. We're together. We're together. You and me. fire truck somewhere. Somebody done built fire and can't get under control again. Duke, stop! Stop it, son! Something funny. I drove up to open the gate for the ghosts to come out, and uh, Ivan, being Ivan, run inside and started chasing them, so like, I'm not letting them out, Papa. I drove off. I figured they'll come out. Well, I think they did. Well, I know they did. They're out here. But I think the gate may have closed on Ivan. <laughs> so he'll be locked in up there and I go back up. Because he ain't come down here and he normally would be right here. 
If nothing else to aggravate. You laying down, baby? Okay, that's good. You lay down. You pop all out. I love you. All right. Hey, girls. Come on, folks. We're going to the side. Side pasture. Come on. Yeah, it's still green. The grass is just not growing. It's just, I think, kind of cool. I know it's cool, but I think the grass will start just kind of going dormant. It's not going to die out, or it's not going to really die out. It will just go brown once we get a frost on it. So far, we haven't got a frost. Hopefully, we don't get one for a while, because the cows are still finding a little bit of grazing. And I'm going to put out hay this afternoon. Or this evening later. Uh, get these goats all settled out over here. Yeah, yeah, I see Ivan's pinned up. <laughs> it's his own fault going in there and chasing goats. I guess one of them closed the gate on him, Heidi. He deserves it, baby. Yeah, he can't be like that to people. Ivan can open the gate, so he'll get ready to come out. He'll, he'll pull it open. It ain't last. He'll pull it open. It can't be last. But I think Miracle Mail went in there with him, so. Come on, people. Go out right there and browse, son. Just go browse a little bit, okay? There you go. Show them how, macho. Show them how. You know how to do it. There, my little girl. Walk up there and just stare at cuz. Hey, what are you? What are you doing in my papa's chair? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to put out a roll of hay for cows in the back. And I'm going to probably wait to put Billy and Granny's roll out tomorrow. Uh, I've got a, about a half a bale, a square bale in here I need to clean out of there. And I'll probably give that to them tonight and give them a roll tomorrow. So... All right. She might be his reason he, 
Well, he's not going to do it today. I want to shoot right up there with a buddy. Awesome. Big circle. <laughs> I'm gonna get out here and put that ring around it. All right, they got the ring around it. We're out of here. Good night, folks. Sun's going down. Been a long day. I love you guys, folks. Did I tell you? <laughs> One more thing. Did I tell you this air conditioner also has a heater? Woo, doggy. It's warm in here. Here come winter time, lights go out, y'all guess where y'all gonna find Popo? <laughs>